In this video, you'll learn how to create a view using the intent bar in Planning Analytics Workspace. Let's get started by clicking New Book on the welcome page. Then enter a name for the new view and double click Freeform to accept the default layout options. Now you'll see how easy it is to use the intent bar to build a view. Type show me units by region and month in the intent bar, then press enter. It's not actually necessary to type show me. You can just enter the terms that identify the data you want to see. You might have noticed that I misspelled month as M-N-T-H. That's okay. Planning Analytics Workspace understands abbreviations and resolves misspellings. So even though I have clumsy fingers, I'll still get the results I want. Planning Analytics Workspace analyzes the existing cubes that are available to you and constructs a view that satisfies your request. Here, a view has been created from the Sales Cube cube on the SData2 server. You can hover over the tree synchronization icon to see the source of the view. The units member of the account one dimension is visible as a context member, while region is used as the row dimension and month is the column dimension. All other dimensions from the Sales Cube cube are placed on the bench. Planning Analytics Workspace generates the view that most likely presents the data that you're interested in, but it's possible that other cubes contain the information you want. When other cubes are available, they're listed below the initial view created by Planning Analytics Workspace. You can click any of these cube names to construct a new view that satisfies the terms you entered in the intent bar. For example, if you click the Sales Cube Metrics cube in this list, Planning Analytics Workspace creates a view very similar to the initial view, but with scorecarding information rather than numeric values. But we want to use the original view created by Planning Analytics Workspace, so we'll click back on Sales Cube in this list. Now click Use to insert this view into the current sheet. Click the Save icon and save this view to your personal workspace. When you return to the welcome page, the book containing the new view is available for you to use or share. 